What is up guys? I am Lyrics, and Skyrim Special Edition has finally came out, but not all mods have been ported over yet. So if you're like me, really impatient, you want the mods and you want them now. Now, there is good news. Some mods like UMP have been ported over. This one was ported over today. So you can go straight to the Nexus and download it, even though the Nexus is sort of laggy right now due to the high traffic. But you can go here and download it. I'll link this in the description below to save you some time. But other mods like your SG Female Texture Renewal, Apache Hair, and CBBE haven't. But good news, CBBE is supposed to be coming out sometime later this week. So... Let's say you want these mods, you want them now, and you want to know how to install them from this page right here since it's not Skyrim Special Edition page. Well, the first thing you need to do is go over to it and figure out which body you want to use if you're using a texture mod, and then download manually. Same thing with Apache. Due to mods like Immersive Winches requiring two different versions of it, you need to go here and download both these manually. Now the way I recommend to do this is through the Nexus Mod Manager. It's by far the easiest way and you can manage plugins as well. If you're installing it manually, file versions, you, you aren't going to be able to manage it as easy as you would by just clicking on it. Now, inside of here there is a bug that does happen. Whenever you install a mod, it will come up. I'm just going to use this as an example, so don't take it as I'm trying to down him or anything. Alright, if you try to install a mod manually by this add a file folder, sometimes it will come up with some weird name in a different category called follower or something to that nature. If that happens, you want to right click, uninstall, and delete mod permanently, and then go back up here and just redo it. It's a bug that randomly happens, but I have seen it happen a bit. So, let's say you want Apache female hair. The quickest way to do it, like I said, is to simply just click the green button. And then once it's there, it's going to be in your unassigned folder. This should be located down near the very bottom. So, after that, you just want to click it like normal. Like you're trying to do any other mod that you installed via pushing the download with manager button. Oh wow, this is, this is a lot of hair. Oh man, that's going to take a bit. Anyway, that one right there is currently installing. Well, let's say you don't want to do that. You want to manually install because you, want, you don't want Khajiit hairs, you don't want nothing else like that. Well, once you have it downloaded, the first thing you need to do is open it up. And then on your computer, you need to find your Steam folder. Now, this one's on my gaming hard drive, so it'll more than likely be C, Program Files 86, Steam. Unless you put Steam to a different directory. Alright, once you're inside the Steam folder, go down to Steam Apps, go to Common, and then underneath here, you should find all your Steam games and then the Special Edition. To save you some time in the future, and I advise it very much. Right click onto the Steam Special Edition folder, go down, create a shortcut, and then drag that shortcut to your desktop. Now if you are using a different hard drive, like what I'm doing, then you're still going to be left with the Steam shortcut setting here. You can just delete it. The only thing you got to do is click it, and then bam, you're right there into the files. Now most files I would say a big portion, 95% of files, will not require you putting anything into this directory right here. The Skyrim Special Edition directory. It will mainly all go into data. Now there is a mod folder in mine. I don't know if that's from Bethesda.net. I don't mess with it, so I'm not going to act like a nut. We're going to be focusing on the data folder. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. Inside your um, main folders... You should see either a data link or meshes and textures within the ESM down there at the bottom. If it has a data like that, you can simply drag and drop onto your data folder and it will automatically put everything into where it should be. If it's meshes, textures, and the ESM whenever you open it up, 
then you need to drag it over to your meshes, your textures, and so forth, and put this inside here. So basically, if it says meshes, textures, Apache, hair, ESM, or anything to this reference, it doesn't say data, then that means it's more than likely going to be dragged into the data folder itself. But now, inside of meshes, remember these links that you're going through. See, actor. So if we go here, we'll see actor. Character, then character, character assets. Now, as you see in this folder, it actually has one called hair, where this folder does not have one called hair. That's not nothing bad, it's still going to work perfectly fine. So, for this, what you would want to do is actually make a file and call it hair, the exact same way that it's spelt inside the thing. So, we made the hair one. Then, Apache. The reason you're doing this is because let's say you don't want Khajiit. You don't really care for the male hairs. The only thing that you want is female elf and orc hairs. Well, to get that to run successfully, you want to just type that folder into here as well. You're just making folders the same way that they're made inside this. And then you can simply just drag over the elf, the female, and the Khajiit and well, not the Khajiit, whatever. You just drag the folders over that you want, and you'll be good to go without having to mess with, like, the Khajiit hairs or anything else. Now, there's also another folder. If we back out of all this. You also have textures. Textures is the exact same way. You're going actors, characters, and then hair. Like... There's no hair file there, so you want to do the exact same thing. Now, this ain't going to mess up your game. It's just adding the files the way that they should be because you're not installing via the Nexus Mod Manager. This is why I say the Nexus Mod Manager is before the easiest way to do things. And then you want to go crazy with this as well. Dragging in all of these, see, like, you still have the Khajiit. So... To be honest, I advise Nexus Mod Manager. I really do. It makes life a lot easier in the long run. I'm going to delete the other one as well. Because I'm not really going to be doing it that way. But there are more, more advanced mods than this. This was pretty easy because as soon as you get all of them just dragged and dropped, the only thing you got to worry about doing is taking the Apache Hair ESM or blah blah so and so great mod of all time ESM and just drag it right into the file right there and it will work you might have to restart Nexus Mod Manager if you use it and activate it via the Nexus Mod Manager itself I say restart it because sometimes it don't come up if you just drag and drop once you restart it should show up for the most part not 100% on that but, let's say you want a more way advanced mod than that right there. That That's pretty simple. That's the basic gist of just installing things. The same can be done with the skin as well. The skin would be no different in this scenario. If we go here to... Do, 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 there it is. See, it's already got a nice little data folder, then textures. And then drag and drop all of these in. Where am I at? Okay, there it is. See, so you'll just drag and drop this whole folder inside there. Now, some things to keep in mind. These right here, let's see, character assets, no. Maybe female, my bad. Alright, some of these come with the vampire head mesh. If you're getting any face mod, like any at all, we could take all these right here, drag and drop. Replace. Alright, so this is the gist of the um, SG Texture Renewal. It's pretty much that simple. Just drag and drop. But there is um, texture mods that do not come with the vampire heads. What this does is, whenever you change into a vampire and your face becomes all mushed up, ugly, crap like that. It's a simple way to fix this. I thought I would show it to you because it's really easy. So, you want to create a folder anywhere... And then just copy these head files right here. It'll be female head DDS 
MSN, DDS, SDDS, you get the gist. Alright, now, to make these work for vampire, after the female head, you just want to add vampire to every single one of these. Now, if you have one like this that has the underscore MSN, you want to do it before that. The same can work with male heads as well. Just after the point of head, just add vampire to it. And then we'll do the last one. And then after that's done, just drag and drop. Um, if you're not on a different hard drive, these files will still, they will go away. They'll be on there. But for me, since I'm on a different hard drive, they tends to back up. That is how you fix the vampire heads. That way you don't have that ugly face if you like your faces looking normal, even if you're a vampire. So that's pretty much simple. This is no problem, installing that. Now, you also got it all the way down, so it has different characteristics. You got the Breton females, the normal females. Like I said, I advise just installing it that way, but if you're really, you know, about MSN, I mean, not MSN, wow, that's a mod manager, then just drag and drop the data folder. That's pretty much all you got to do. But let's get out of that and go into some way more advanced things. And that would be CBBE. This manual installation is a nightmare. Okay. When you install it via Nexus Mod Manager, you will have this nice full mod that you get to go through there, click the boxes, and be all happy and merry about it. Well, this way, you don't. So if you were wanting to manually install CBBE, then you need to go to Required first. I would seriously advise dragging and dropping these files. Like the meshes and all that. Just because it's going to put it all in there. Now you got to do the um, the slim first. This way you get the nice little feet and hands, nips, files, and the textures and all that. Afterwards you want to select which one of these you want to go through. Let's say you want curvy. The reason you're installing the other one is because you're only getting bodies with these. So you do them the same way. You find what you want. Maybe you want the vanilla. Maybe you want underwear textures, um, underwear curvy textures, texture packs, face packs, blah, a lot of stuff. You install them like you normally would. You just pick what you want, really. That's all it is. You just re install the required first, then go through here and pick what you want. You want curvy. You want your curvy to be wearing underwear. You want your curvy to be wearing underwear one or two. And then you just go through their meshes, and it's just going to have the female body with underwear. I mean, it's pretty simple. And it these kind of mods right here are living nightmares that they have a lot of files. Like, this could have been broke off into this one. And then this one could have been broke off into, do you want shaved? Or do you want patches of hair? And then you got to click that. And then, do you want blah, big boobs, small boobs? I mean, it could really go on. Honestly, I advise Nexus Mod Manager. It's quick, it's simple, it's pushing a button. That's all it's doing. Well, guys, it is 5.33 on Hallow Eve. I'm about to go out, have some fun, party, so I hope this helped you out. If so, please drop a like. That would really help me out. If you have any other questions, please drop them down in the comments below, and I or somebody else will be able to answer them quick as possible. And yeah, take it easy, guys. I hope you have a good, safe Halloween. Peace out.